This is E, the non-algorithmic name. Thank you for joining me for another collectible critique and in my eternal quest for bankruptcy. Enjoy! Hello fellow collector enthusiasts. Today I'll be looking at the Ami Komi Batgirl version 2. Uh, the series is quite nice. They have uh, several highly sexualized designs. I guess they have to do that to sell. I'm not particularly one for that, but I have to say I do like this particular one. It's the only Amikomi I actually own. Uh, for the sole reason that I did like her design very much. What do you get? You get a stand, as you can see here. I just simply don't want to remove it because I don't like the stand that much. You get Batgirl V2. Two batarangs for her to hold, and you get bats, because you know, bat girl. The batarangs slide very nicely into her hands, as one would hope they do. Bit loose. There we go. And let me get the bats right. There is an insert on her shoulder, very well hidden, so if you don't want to include the bats, it won't be a bad thing. Uh, yeah, the cape does need to be pushed. I don't know, I guess this might vary from figure to figure, but the cape does need to be pushed a little bit inwards in order for the bats to actually clip in. And then, as you can see, they stay quite sturdy. Uh, the figure itself is quite lovely, very well sculpted, I have to say. I do have slight issue with the quality. Maybe I'm just unlucky. I'm always unlucky. Every figure I have is one small problem. And with her, it might be easy to see or not. One of the ears are bent out of shape. Now, I've tried to reset this in many different ways, but the only ways that are accessible to me have left it the same and thankfully have not damaged her. Uh, I do really like the cape. I have to say the general design sells it very well, but the cape is sort of brilliantly sculpted, the way it twists around the base. I also find it really nice she doesn't need a stand, you know, if you have like a black shelf or black base, it really sits in nicely. I do like the design overall, I have to say. It's a bit odd in some places. <clears throat> some. Some places, I, I don't know where these weird places would be, but I guess they have to do that, you know, it sells more. And she does look particularly good if I put her on a light stand. Let me just get the lights and we'll see how it works. Okay, so hopefully that's very clear to you. Uh, just adding a little bit of light, see the sparkly, sparkly. I think with lights she does look very lovely. Um, it's a little bit of a shame that her face sort of fades out, her arms are blocking the face and everything. A more dynamic pose would have made this figure a lot better, but there are so many dynamic poses so worn out that this one, strangely, does make it a little bit fresh. Um, it's a shame you can't see the entire body. You lose it part of the design on the feet because the cape wraps around the knees. But overall, I do like it from the eyes that shimmer, from the, the strong contrast between the complete black design and uh, the little pieces of skin that show, the little, what, do you, what would you call it, slivers of skin that show. And of course, the yellow belt with the design looks very nice. The bats. They're a nice touch, but what's nice is that they're not really required. She looks good with or without them, and that little hole in her shoulder is barely noticeable. Uh, pop factor with Batgirl V2, I would have to say, is about 7. Just because she's black, you know, not skin color-wise. No need to pull out the racial guns with me. I'm pro-everything. <laughs> but she is a completely black outfit with only slightly contrasting area showing, controversial contrasting, ha, huh? and the yellow belt, so she doesn't stand out too much in a collection, especially on her own. I mean, if you turn off the lights, if you don't have a light stand or anything to make her really 
sort of shine separate. Oh, uh, she sort of fades into the background, into nothing. Against other Amekomi statues, or however you would pronounce it, she does actually stand out because most of them are quite brightly colored, which is not a bad thing. Uh, I have to say though, she didn't cost me much. She cost me about 20, 20 euro, I guess that's something like 15, no, it's 25 dollars or something like that. So, I mean, a reasonable price. Very happy with the price. Got it at a bargain sale. If you do have a chance to pick her up and you like Batman, of course, <laughs> Because this is a, as I say, I don't collect items based on series, I just collect because I like them. Uh, she does have a very nice design to her. So if you get the chance, have a look. Uh, I hope this has been helpful, not too quick. I'm trying to make my videos quicker. And I do hope that you have enjoyed this review. And furthermore, I guess we're done here. <laughs> very easy nowadays. Thank you very much for watching, I hope this has been helpful for you, and may you enjoy your quest for bankruptcy. I know I am!